Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Andrew. Uh, today we're continuing with our my series on religion. And today we're going to be talking about why I think it's important to discuss religion. Um, there are two things you never discuss with people, religion and politics. That's how that's what the saying says anyway. I actually think you should talk about those things. Um, I, I understand I might be in the min minority when it comes to that. And I do believe there are some some guidelines uh, to follow when you do talk about religion. That being said, uh, there are a lot of ideas out there. There are a lot of different religions out there. And I personally, not being of any religion, um, see religions and think that no religion is actually uh, what I would call complete or perfect. Um, I think there are th there could be a lot of growth. And I actually think if you combined some of the ideas from different religions, you would it, the the entirety of that would uh, make a much better um, overall product or religion, as it were. Uh, so I think that idea uh, sharing is important, no matter what topic we're talking about. I think uh, it's important to have a dialogue and communicate. Uh, I'm going to do a video at some point. It will be after the uh, this series on religion. Uh, why I think that the communication of ideas eventually is going to save humanity. Um, that'll come out at some point. I'm not sure when. I'm just focusing on religion for now. So, I believe there are six rules that you should follow uh, if you want to have a successful discussion about religion. Uh, rule number one, I believe that you should come from a place of respect and treat uh, the person you're talking to with dignity no matter what they believe. Uh, even if you think you are better than them, which I don't think you are, but that may be your opinion, you're entitled to it, um, I think you should treat them with respect and dignity and understand that they are people too. And they have, they may have different ideas from you or different beliefs from you, I should say, but that doesn't make them any less of a person than you. Uh, I also think number two, you should want to share your ideas. I don't think that really religion should be kept secret, should be held tight to the chest and only people from that religion should ever learn about it. I think uh, ideas need to be shared and spread and continue to grow. Uh, so I think that's really important. Uh, number three, I think you have to be ready to listen to other people's ideas. And when I say listen, I also mean hear other people's ideas. A lot of people will will have a conversation with someone and then as 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 the other person's talking, Either they're thinking about what they're going to say next, which means they aren't really listening, they aren't really hearing what the other person has to say, or they're just dismissing it in their head because clearly, you know, they know they're right and, well, there's no way this could be right. So it doesn't matter. I don't really have to listen. I don't really have to hear what they're saying. People can generally tell when you're doing this and it's not going to go well. The discussion's not going to go well. So actually listen and actually hear, and who knows, maybe there's something you like. And by the way, I know religions are like, no, you have to believe what we say it, exactly down to the letter. Uh, I don't think that should be the case. I think, it, honestly, if you're Christian, but you find something that really resonates with you from, I don't know, Hinduism or Jainism or Taoism or whatever religion, uh, then you should you should be able to include that within your belief system. Uh, and also number four, uh, I, I think you need to realize that both their and your beliefs are really just opinions. They're not facts. No one knows if God even exists, let alone what God actually believes or what God actually wants uh, humanity to follow. Um, I said in my last video, and it's it's true for this one too, there are only two people that know what happens after death. Fools and frauds. 
Fools, because you're fooling yourself into thinking you actually know something that you can't know. And frauds, uh, as in those people who try to convince others that, well, this is the only thing that could happen to you and, and everyone else is wrong. And by the way, we need something from you for doing this, for, for, for telling you this. Uh, generally uh, money or, or time, etc. Um, which leads me to number five. Just understand that nobody really knows what they're talking about when it comes to religion. We're all making this up. This is what we think is likely. That's all it is. Um, I know religious people are like, well, the Bible was, well, I've had religious tell, people tell me that the Bible was written by God. I'm going to do a video about that. It wasn't. It was written by people. I've had other people tell me that the Bible was inspired by God and then written through those people. Again, I'm going to discuss that in that video, what I think about that. But really, they were just people trying to understand natural things that were happening around them at a time when they couldn't understand it and attributing it to a God. Uh, and everyone is a little scared of dying because there is a fear of the unknown. What's going to happen to us after after we die? So we're trying to we're trying to answer those questions. Uh, some of those questions have been answered with science. Others uh, will never be answered. I don't think. I I, I don't think we're ever going to really know what happens after death until we die, uh, which either means that it'll be too late and it'll just be fade to black, or it could mean. Uh, you see the pearly gates. Uh, it could be anything in between there too. Who knows? No one knows. I'm not claiming I know. I hope you don't claim you know because uh, no one really knows. And lastly, realize that when in your head you tell yourself, well, they're obviously wrong. Uh, and by the way, I have done this and everyone I've talked to has admitted to me later that they've done this as well. I just want you to understand that you might be wrong too. Again, no one really knows. So if you, if you follow those six rules, respect and dignity, share ideas, actually listen and hear the other person, realize that they're, they're opinions, not facts, understand that no one knows what they're talking about, and realize that if you, if you ever say to yourself, well, they're obviously wrong, uh, you could be just as wrong. If you follow those, you can have wonderful, wonderful discussions. Um, and not just when it comes to religion. When it comes to almost anything, these, the, those rules fit and work. Um, now, I tailored those, rule, those six rules specifically about religion, and it's how I follow it and how I have debates and conversations with people about religion. Um, but it is generally a, a, a good list of rules for any topic that you're debating or discussing with someone. Um, I had an ex, uh, we, we dated for uh, I think just under 10 years. Um, I may at some point discuss more about why and all that reasons. That's not really important to this discussion right now. I don't really want to go on that tangent. Um, but my ex is as opposite to me when it comes to religion as possible. So if you saw my videos from, uh, I believe, yeah, last week, um, then I, I, I explained what I believe when it comes to religion. I'm an, what I call myself an agnostic, uh, non-theist. And I explained what I mean by those things. So if you haven't seen those, go and check those out. Uh, they'll be within my, uh, religions playlist if you want to check those out. Um, but my ex um, was actually um, taking her uh, Masters of Divinity. Um, so uh, that's, a, that's a master's course um, that people take if they want to, like for instance, become priests uh, or, or other higher uh, employees of the church. Um, she was Catholic or she is Catholic, I should say. She, I believe she's still Catholic. Um, it's unfortunate, I know. She may or may not watch this video, so when I say things like that, those are just jokes that we I made to her all, like regularly, so you know, she understands they're just meant as, as, as jokes. Um, uh, she's a very devout Catholic. Uh, I used to tease her and call her a zealot. Um, <laughs> 
She really wasn't at that level, admittedly, but I, I just used to tease her. I also understood uh, the original um, term and where it came from, uh, I, and I found it funny that I would call her a Catholic zealot uh, because I realized where it came from. Um, interestingly, um, she she realized just recently um, what a zealot act, what one one version of a zealot is, um, where you uh, undead you you unalive I should say you unalive uh, people who don't believe what you do, and uh, well it was an interesting conversation. Um, uh, to her, uh, if you're watching this, um, I do want to ask you one question about that. Um, what, what's that, uh, fifth commandment of yours again? Uh, I forget. Um, but, but yeah, we used to have fantastic discussions. We both followed those six rules from earlier. I didn't, it's not like something we even discussed. We kind of just both fell into that. Um, it's something I actively thought about. I don't know if she did or not. I did kind of talk to her about it at some points because there were, it wasn't always perfect. Don't get me wrong. There were some points where we had issues, uh, but we were able to communicate about those issues. Um, for for a while, especially more in the beginning of the relationship, she kind of all she kind of had a, a, a sense of superiority because she was better than me. Um, so, I for for multiple for multiple reasons, and uh, I, I I just pointed out to her that uh, I don't think you are, and but but what are your reasons for believing that? And I would just we would just discuss that and. At some points, it got to a point uh, where, you know, where discussions broke down. Uh, we were smart enough, I believe, to, to walk away at that point um, and then pick up the discussion later when we both cooled down. Uh, but we we talked and we talked and we talked. I, I enjoy discussing uh, uh, in-depth uh, topics. Um, philosophy uh, which I include religion under in a way um, I love talking about philosophy with people um, and and she was going to uh, school at the time for her masters of divinity I, I hope that's the right one it if you're watching this and it's wrong let me know and I'll fix it I'll, I'll put it in later uh, on in a in a comment um, or, or in a in a little speech thing up here but um, I'm pretty sure it was the it was called the Masters of Divinity, and um, yeah, so she would she would go to class and then she would kind of you know we would talk about what she had learned, uh, and it was great and we could we could talk for hours and especially uh, even near the end of a relationship where things got very very rocky uh, regularly, we would still have these amazing multiple hour discussions about a topic that most people can't you know, have for two minutes, let alone two hours or more. Um, and it really does come down to uh, those six rules to follow at the beginning of this video. Uh, now, to my ex, if she's watching, um, I don't know whether you will accept this or not, uh, but I invited you onto my channel and that invitation will always be open. Uh, I'd love to have you on here to have one of those discussions. Uh, we, I, I talked to you about this more in depth. Uh, but I just want to show people that, you know, two people who believe as opposite as you can believe in something. Um, that, that you can have a respectful, deep conversation uh, and, and just share ideas. Um, and that's something... I want to point out on this channel. I'm going to, uh, in the future, try to bring people on that have opposing views to me and have and have a conversation with them and show that hey, we don't have to just yell and scream, um, because sharing ideas is way more important than uh, screaming at the top of our lungs to see who quote unquote wins uh, an argument or who just drowns out the opposition.
those things are those things are toxic to think that you win by screaming the loudest I mean you may you may win a sore throat and congratulations there's your prize but I I, I think that is the worst thing you can do um, not just in that moment for but for all of humanity uh, again video to come on that after the the series on religion but uh, that's it for this video uh, I want to say thank you for listening and as always I do not uh, I have no problem with what you believe in you can believe in God you don't have to believe in God that's totally up to you that's your opinion if you believe in God, I respect it. If you don't believe in God, I respect it all the same. Uh, I only start to have a problem when people think they can tell me what I should believe. So uh, as, as long as we can have a respectful discussion with those six rules that I uh, talked about at the beginning, I think that you can talk about anything. So I hope you have a very good day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.